The murder trial that has attracted worldwide attention is underway in a Dallas courtroom, just a short distance away from where the tragedy began. Flowers are still placed on the site of the assassination of President Kennedy, and the building from which the shot was fired is still the object of horrified curiosity. Just a block from the warehouse is the courthouse, where reporters from the world over have flocked for the trial of Jack Ruby. The nightclub owner is under heavy guard as he is brought to the courtroom to face charges that he murdered Harvey Lee Oswald, the man accused of assassinating President Kennedy. In the center of a flying wedge of officers, Ruby seems little perturbed by the accusations. Cameramen by the score are packed into the hallways. They are not allowed in the courtroom. Only reporters are admitted after a thorough search. Then, all lenses are focused on the colorful chief of the defense council, Melvin M. Belli. He caused an uproar in court when he tried to disqualify any juror who had seen pictures of the Oswald killing. Belli was also unsuccessful, for the time being, in moving the trial from Dallas. Heading the array of prosecutors is District Attorney Henry Wade, who says that he is going to demand the death penalty for Ruby, saying that it was premeditated murder. <laughs> Judge Joe B. Brown has taken under advisement the defense moves for a change of venue. He says that he will wait until he sees how the case proceeds and how successful efforts are to pick a jury from a panel of 900 called. The first few days of the trial dragged by without one juror being seated. It is not only Ruby who stands in the dock. The United States is on trial in the court of world opinion. When the assassination shook the world, the subsequent killing of Oswald compounded the tragedy. Every nation is watching American justice. <laughs>